Recently, I've been really struggling with my pile of shame and having no motivation to do any sort of painting. This isn't an uncommon occurrence. I'm sure that all of you have either dealt with this, will deal with this, or maybe are even currently dealing with this. Whether it's painting an army for Warhammer, getting through that pile of shame, or any creative outlet, we've all had to deal with some sort of creative block. Sometimes it just feels like you're waiting for that spark, that one thing that's going to ignite your passion again and get that momentum going. But try as you might, it just doesn't happen. There's apparently this new thing going around, this new technique called discipline. I don't know if I'm pronouncing that correctly. But apparently people who perform this disc applying claim that they can do anything just by doing it. They can just set a target and then just perform the task. It sounds completely wild. Joking aside, I understand discipline is very, very good if you can do it. If it's something you are able to do, then that's good. That's great. I'm so happy for you. But it's difficult to put into words, so unless you do suffer from executive dysfunction or some sort of neurodiversity like ADHD, like I do, you don't really understand how it kind of feels to be told, oh, be disciplined, when that really is a struggle and a battle against your own will. It's not like I haven't tried in the past 32 years to become disciplined and just gone, oh, I can't possibly do it, I've got ADHD. It's a constant battle and sometimes it feels like a losing battle. There's a reason that depression is so commonly linked to something like ADHD. And at the end of the day, even if I could be disciplined, if I'm not going to enjoy the painting I'm doing, I simply aren't going to want to do it because I'm not going to do the best job I know I can do. And I can do a much better job if I feel passionate about it and much more motivated and gain that momentum to start completing this pile of shame. Whoa. Sometimes you can force that spark through something like a wheel to take away the choice to stop that pile of shame looking so big. Sometimes it's looking at other people's models and other people's work and getting inspired by them like some of the work that has been posted on my Discord. Sometimes you just see something and in your head suddenly the motivation comes back or the spark suddenly re-emerges. And sometimes none of that works and you just have no motivation, you just have no desire to do it and that's what I've been struggling with. And that lack of motivation can become a death spiral. You become less motivated because you're unmotivated and the pile of shame just looks bigger and bigger in your head, despite the fact it's not really changing. However, recently, I've started painting again and it was one technique that really helped me. And I guarantee, maybe probably not guarantee, that this will work for you, this one weird trick. Doctors hate me, not because of this, they just hate me for various other reasons, but anyway. This is the first completed Screaming Raven model. This is a tech marine and it is amazingly painted. Look at this, it's just wonderfully done, an amazing model conversion and just very, very awesome. And I didn't paint it. This was painted by my good friend Steve. We had a bet about whether the new codexes would have the war gear be free or not. He lost, he had to paint me a character and this is what he created. Everyone needs a good friend like Steve. He's a very good person to have around because he brings such balance to my life. On the one hand, he got me back into Warhammer and I've wasted thousands of pounds on this stupid plastic hobby that I've just not been painting. But he's also the person who got me into weightlifting and I'm the healthiest I've ever been. He helped me learn the game and play the game. We have a lot of fun playing different games, but he does also just kick my ass every single time. We like to watch wrestling together. We always have fun watching wrestling pay-per-views, but then he also wants to try the moves out on me. Watch out, watch out, watch out! I have a game coming up in a couple of weeks with my Screaming Ravens, the first game I'm going to play with them, 1500 points, and the fact that Steve built and painted this in a week was not what actually inspired me out of this funk. I can't let Steve's model be the only painted miniature in my army on the table. You know how smug he'd be about that? He wouldn't let me live it down if the only pictures of my game of Screaming Ravens, the only painted model, was his. So, this past weekend, I sprayed the majority of the 1500 point army, and I've actually painted some of it already. And it wasn't because I was inspired by this model, as good as it is. It was out of spite. Spite is the greatest motivator. It wasn't a desire of having painted models that got me going. It was the burning passion to not let Steve have this small insignificant victory over me. When all else fails, inspiration, all of that just goes away. The one thing you can rely on is spite. The stubbornness and belligerence to prove someone wrong, to make sure that they don't hold something over you, is so much more motivating than anything else. And so, my message to you, I bet you can't get those models painted. You won't complete that project you're working on. You don't have the guts to finish what you started. Oh, you want to prove me wrong? Do it. Right now, on my Discord, I've created a new channel called Prove Me Wrong Cowards. And I guarantee that none of you are going to be able to put something in there. Over the next four weeks, any of the projects or any of the painting that you complete, put it in that channel. I bet there'll be nothing in there. I bet you won't. I'll be doing the same as well. I'll be putting all of my competing models in there. So you don't really want me to beat you, right? The guy who's had a channel about Warhammer for over a year and has only really released three painting videos. The guy who started two years ago, spent thousands on three different armies and barely has any of them complete. You're going to let me win? Of course you are.
Let me know in the comments below every time spiders helps you in some way or another. Or am I the weird one and I'm just a belligerent weirdo who seems to want to prove everyone wrong for absolutely no reason. In any case, thank you very much for watching. If you did enjoy this, go ahead and like, comment, and subscribe to all the good YouTube stuff. And I will see you next time. Thank you very much for watching.